Good morning, my name is Jeff and welcome to my Tropical Garden Channel. Today we are going to talk about avocados, more specifically red avocados that I found growing on my front yard seedling avocado tree. The avocados are starting to soften up and we're going to give them a try. But first, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to all comments and questions. So let's go over to the table and we're going to cut these avocados open and take a look at how they are. For those of you that didn't see the first video, this avocado that we'll be taste testing was found on the ground, probably picked a bit early by some of the kids in the neighborhood. So I'm not really expecting a lot of flavor out of it. Hopefully it's a little rubbery, so we'll see. So here we are at the demonstration table where I'm going to slice open this red avocado I found on my avocado tree about 10 days ago. Now, to be honest, the avocado does not feel like it's completely soft. It's a little bit rubbery, but there's not much I can do about that due to the fact that uh, it was picked too early, by, probably by some kids in the neighborhood. But what I did find is another red avocado. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, it was in the, amongst the leaf litter at the base of the avocado tree. So we're going to give that a try in a couple weeks and see how it goes. It's still hard. Um, but as you can see, this avocado has retained uh, its red color even during the uh, ripening process. And behind it, we have a Mexicola Grande that we're also going to try. As you can see, the Mexicola Grande is 100% black, but it is a little bit more softer. This avocado, too, was picked too early by whoever picked them and uh, but we're going to try it out. I have a feeling this one is a little bit more riper than this one. So let's take a look. So pardon the ang camera angles. I am doing this alone again. I am my camera ladies at church, so I get to do my own filming. She usually does the detailed filming but here we go we're going to take a look at this we're going to cut it open and see how it is now again it's a little bit rubbery i'm not so sure how it's going to turn out first thing i see is beautiful green in it Rubbery. It's rubbery. Hey, look at that heart shape. <laughs> now, unfortunately, everybody, I'm afraid that this avocado is just a bit too green. Well, a little bit too rubbery. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. We tried it. I knew it would be that way, to be honest with you. Now this one, the Mexico La Grande that they picked too early, I think was probably picked about a week early. It's much more so. It's, oh, look at that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of, little bit of darkness in it, but try this one out. The thing about Mexico La Grande is that, see this is, this is, this is, this is just too rubbery. Let me try this. Mm-hmm. Mexico La Grande is delicious, even, even somewhat green. <laughs> A little bit less than perfect. Wow. This one, too rubbery. It probably would have been okay in about two weeks. That's okay. So as you can see, whoever came into my yard and picked that red avocado 
picked it too early. I don't think leaving it to on the table to ripen, you know, any longer would have done any good. They have to be mature ripe in order to soften up. And it took, would have taken probably another couple weeks. We'll just have to wait to see how this other little one does. Hopefully it ripens. If you like these type of videos, go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell. I do follow up on just about every video and I answer almost everybody's questions and comments. You have a great day.